taste like death. It's 8.50, I'm drinking a Red Bull. Why, you ask? I don't know. But with a reusable straw because... Saving the planet one drink at a time. So I realized that I should probably start these videos with like some kind of introduction. Welcome to this channel, if you're new. My name is Saro. I'm 18. My blood type is A positive. I wear a size 4 in shoe, sometimes a 5. Back to the topic of the video. Like any normal person, I have accumulated a lot of regrets in my life. A lot of these regrets haunt me. So I thought that if I aired them in front of the public, you are the public, I would maybe start to feel better about them. I don't know what's wrong with me. Do I need to learn boundaries? Yes. Am I going to learn them anytime soon? No. Some of these are big things. Some of these are little things. But they are still things that keep me up at night. You know, when it's like sad boy hour and you're lying in your bed and all you can think about is all the shit that you fucked up in your life. I'm going to start out with something that doesn't really keep me up at night, but it's just something that I really regret. So when I was about six or seven, my grandmother cut a fringe for me. Let's just say that my grandmother was not a hairdresser. She cut everyone's hair, but she was looking back at it very, very questionably skilled at cutting hair. But anyway, you know, she was my, my go-to gal to get my hair done. And so one day, I guess my grandmother just decided, like, you would look cute with a fringe. And so she cut a fringe. And you know those, like, super trendy, like, little fringes that are up here? She cut one of those, but it was not in the year where it was trendy. I mean, this was 2008, everything was pretty backwards. I mean, fucking dinosaurs still existed. That's how long ago it was. But anyway, this kind of fringe was not trendy in those days. And I mean, I guess I didn't care because I was like seven, but still. My grandmother didn't cut it straight. It looked like a goat had chewed my fringe. It was just not a hard look. But you know, that wasn't really my fault. But knowing how bad I looked, three years later, at the age of 10, I got a fringe again. And I got a really thick fringe. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't even know if I got it professionally done. I think I did, but it looked crap. And I just used to let that thick fucking curtain hang in front of my forehead. It's probably the reason why I have acne now. Maybe this is. But yeah, a really regrettable look. I also thought that a side pony was a hot look. It's not the 80s. I don't know why I was doing that in 2011. Born in the wrong generation. You know how there are all these like 13, 14 year olds now who are like super cool, super trendy, wear amazing clothes. There's a shit ton of them at my school. It really bothers me. Awkward stage, where are you? But anyway, I was not one of those kids. I was not cool at all. Not even marginally. Not that you are now, you freaking loser. I wore what everybody else wore. My hair was just atrocious. My hair long is not a good vibe. Like I got my braces pretty late and so my teeth weren't straight until like last year. And everything I did was super awkward, but I thought it was cute and quick awkward but it wasn't it was just awkward awkward kind of like the whole I'm not like other girls vibe I didn't know what I was doing with my personality I didn't know what I was doing with what I was wearing I didn't fit in anyway it was just a gross period of my life from the ages of 9 until 12, I wore these really fucking ugly glasses. I guess I wanted to get something similar to my parents, and so I got the half-rimmed glasses, like the rectangular half-rimmed glasses. Jesus Christ, I look like a fucking accountant at the age of 10. It was so bad. I don't know why I thought that was the appropriate look for like a tween. And I wore those ugly glasses until I was 12. Looking back at those pictures, I'm like, whose tiny accountant is this? I was a fickle little bitch in primary school. I don't want to blame it on the fact that I was young, but I guess because I was young, I was kind of insensitive towards other people's feelings and I didn't really consider what I was doing that much. In grade one, I used to be friends with this girl. Let's call her Cindy. So I was friends with Cindy and I didn't really fit in with anybody else. So it was just me and Cindy, best friends. We hung out all the time. I would call her after school and we would have one hour long chats before one of our moms would shout at us. And she was a good friend. So I don't know why I did this. I didn't even get tired of Cindy I just kind of stopped hanging out with her and I started hanging out with these two boys and I was like hell yeah I'm in with the boys me and the boys bro we are gonna have the best times so in the beginning of our friendship it was me the boys and Cindy but Cindy didn't really fit in with me and the boys you know she was like quite shy and timid and really gentle I don't know if I thought of this or if we thought of this together or if somebody else thought of it and recommended it we thought it would be fun if we just ran away and like hid from Cindy and so we did that. Oh my god! I just regret it so much. That's such a horrible thing to do to somebody. Knowing what a gentle, kind person she was. It's so difficult to talk about. I don't know why I did that. Like, children are the worst. They have no regard for other people. Like, I think about her and I just want to reach out to her and apologize. But I can't find her anywhere. It's now 10 years later and I still feel super guilty for it. So...
Pure. Oh my god, I just said her name. If you are watching this and you know that this is about you, I'm so severely sorry. Hit me up with your details and I want to make up for what I did because that was really shit. Oh my god, another awful little kid thing that I did. So during the holidays, my brother and I would be home alone. And so my mom would hire nannies to come and look after us. I'm not trying to justify what we did, but none of the nannies that we ever had were very nice. Like, I don't think any of them wanted to really work with children. A lot of the time, they'd sit in front of the TV, and my brother and I would be left to our own devices. Doesn't justify what we did but I'm just giving some background information. So we thought if our nannies are not gonna be nice to us, we're not gonna be very nice to our nannies. We set up this whole like nanny destruction kit. We found my dad's old briefcase. We filled it with supplies that we would need to sabotage our nannies. I can't even remember what we put in there. I'm pretty sure there was a lighter in there, which is a little dodgy. I was about five or six when this happened and my brother was about 13. So really he should have known better. One of the things that we did to one of our nannies, because we had lot of them not all at the same time though we had them one after the other so we had our house and then we had like a separate granny flat with a toilet and our nanny was going to the granny flat to use that toilet and my brother and i knew this so we made a plan to either me or my brother i can't remember which one of us but one of us had to run through into the granny flat and lock the bathroom from the inside so that our nanny couldn't get into the bathroom and then i, I think i stayed behind and my brother ran and locked that door because i was like this big my legs didn't really work that well and so i was waiting inside the house for my brother and when he ran back into the house we locked the house basically our nanny was stranded in the garden it would have been a harmless children's prank if we had just left it at that we were not satisfied we kept the doors locked for a good couple of hours and our nanny almost wet herself i think she might have actually peed in the garden i'm not 100 percent sure i feel so bad why was i such a terrible person not only did we do this but when my mom returned home we told her that our nanny had not looked after us so yeah my brother and i are horrible human beings finally a regret that doesn't involve me being a dick i really regret going to the high school that i went to before the one that i'm at now i moved around schools a lot but the school that i went to before the one that i'm in now that was the worst school i've ever been to that was the worst decision i've ever made i mean i met amazing people there were some good times but it was such a shit show i hated that school i don't think i realized how much i hated it until i left and when i moved away i was like high school's not supposed to be that shitty i'm not gonna mention the name of the school because their pr committee will fucking come after me i know for a fact so i'm not gonna do that because i don't feel like getting in legal trouble but it was an all girls private school just no don't get me wrong i'm not saying that it's a bad school it was a really good school education wise but for me personally it just didn't work it was such a toxic environment it was really competitive everybody was competing to get these titles within the school and to get this badge and that badge and that sporting certificate it was just really bitchy as well my experience of it was that it's like your typical girl school that you see in movies it was super clicky oh my god and me being the loser that i am i was not part of the cool kids and there was like this definite hierarchy with the clicks you knew who the cool kids were but this is just my experience of it i know a lot of people who go there and love it i really became somebody that i didn't even know in that school i just conformed completely and just made me feel really insecure and i'm so glad that i got the fuck out of there when i did no shade on the school though i'm not saying it's a bad school i don't hate the school i just hate the experience that i had at the school so my most recent regret is um this is also gonna make me sound like quite a dick so i was in a relationship with a boy well we were in a relationship for three months but we were kind of like seeing each other for about six months so shit just wasn't working within the relationship but i didn't break up with him very nicely so i broke up with him over the phone not over a call no i whatsapped him and i said that we were breaking up oh my god why wouldn't you have the decency to tell somebody to their face or at least phone them if you're gonna break up with them over the phone you fucking pussy why would you break up with somebody over text that's like the epitome of like small dick energy i feel really bad about it because he's a really nice person i know he's probably watching this hey dude but yeah we're on good terms now which is a good thing so yeah those are my regrets i hope you don't see me differently if you do fuck i don't know and the more regrets i have have the more knowledge and foresight I have for my future. Let me turn my regrets into lessons. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm gonna end the video. Bye dudes. All the good girls go to hell.
name of the various styles. This classic. I come from the red in front of Valentine. It is truly love no matter what's it. Doesn't come that easy anyway.